Hello everyone. I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how to uh, use SP.NET uh, to send uh, an uh, email message okay, if you have uh, uh, an uh, Google uh, email account. All right. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. So uh, before you uh, uh, get into the coding part, okay, or we get into the coding part, okay, please okay, make sure that you log into your um, Google account and then okay, select the uh, account here okay, and then you will see some screen like this okay, uh, Google account then select the security scroll down okay, to the section let's secure app access and I have turned this okay, uh, option here from off to on already so please get okay, uh, do that yeah, otherwise highly likely that uh, your app uh, might not work even though uh, your your code okay, in the SP data is 100% correct all right okay, so okay let's get get to the uh, coding part okay so I have uh, a sample okay, file created already okay, using uh, gmail underscore sp 19txt let me click on that one and this is okay, a very very simple uh, code okay so in a minute okay, I will do a quick copy pay, uh, paste okay and then now let me fire up my uh, software okay so let me quickly create a new project and then I'm going to call this application as demo uh, uh, gmail okay gmail 01 click ok empty template click ok and i'm going to create a web form project okay, add a new item a web form i'm going to switch switch to the design view okay and then i'm going to test something this is just a test uh, for gmail uh, for sending email okay for sending an email all right then then i'm going to uh, put the button there okay so let me uh, use my standard uh, uh, category okay a button here and i'm going to call this one uh, send just change the caption to send And then, okay, uh, me personally, I always like to remind myself, okay, if okay, uh, the send function has been done, then I'm going to display the message over the label over here. So let me select the uh, send button and double click on it. So the software automatically create the uh, click event handler okay, for me. And a moment ago, I mentioned about okay, the uh, uh, sample okay, uh, code here okay so uh, make sure that okay, you uh, open up okay, the file and then copy those two lines of code first switch back to the software okay and then at the top okay make sure you include those okay, two libraries okay then switch back to the code as well and then let me just copy okay the code in the click event handler and let me switch back to the software again okay and then I'm going to paste okay I'm going to paste all right okay so you can see that okay, uh, because uh, I uh, try to hide okay, my uh, uh, gmail account and also my gmail account's password okay so I have created okay, a class okay, called my account okay, because this video will be viewed by I don't know I mean uh, uh, my students and maybe some uh, general public okay, people as well so I prefer not to show my credential so I'm going to okay, create I'm going to include uh, my uh, uh, my class okay, 
having my credential in there okay so let me navigate to the location there you go so this is my file okay and then you can see that okay yes yeah so you can see that the warning sign is gone okay so let me quickly again okay let me quickly uh, uh, run the app okay so over here I'm going to run the application oh before I run it let me see okay let me show you okay uh, what message okay, will be uh, sent okay so I uh, try to send a message okay, with the subject okay, hello world and the body this is a test okay and then let me try something that is okay, simple okay and then uh, the uh, from okay will be uh, this email address okay please fill in whatever email address okay, uh, you want to fill it in two I plan to send to myself okay so I put uh, my uh, uh, Gmail account there in the uh, message to part and then okay, uh, in the credential part okay, I use my own credential for you okay, uh, if you have a free account okay, so please okay, again okay, please uh, comment out this line and then uncomment this line and then you put your own uh, uh, Gmail credential okay, your uh, Gmail login name your password okay, but then again for me okay, I'm going to use my uh, account okay all right so let me run the app quickly okay okay so let me run the app okay as of now you can see that uh, this is my uh, uh, gmail account but no message have been received yet so let me run the app quickly okay sorry pick the wrong one there you go so let me run this one and click send so there you go the label show that the email has been sent and let me switch back to my email account there you go okay so it's sent to me okay correctly okay and the body is this is a test okay simple so it's exactly the same like uh, the one okay uh, in the simple code over here again uh, for your own needs okay uh, you can uh, change uh, the uh, subject area you can uh, change the body okay uh, content okay and then uh, uh, the uh, uh, two email okay uh, uh, whatsoever okay and then again remember to put your own okay, uh, credential okay your own credential so I guess that will be all and then uh, there are so many things okay, you can uh, enhance okay, the app here you can put something like okay, uh, maybe like uh, uh, your uh, comment Okay, and then you just put a text box there give me a minute a text box there okay and then it then you can go back here to change the code to get like uh, uh, let's say uh, my body there I then this time you can get it from yeah, my body equal to in this case will text box one yeah text okay. something like that right. something like that again uh, the uh, sky's the limit okay. there are many things you can uh, do with okay, this uh, simple okay, uh, application uh, by using uh, gmail okay yeah uh, in my point of view it's free email why not All right thank you have a good day i hope that uh, this information will be useful to you okay bye